Hi friends, I welcome you all in AKDK YouTube channel to stay updated. It's a channel where we try to keep you updated on the recent events and also update your knowledge to become extraordinary among ordinaries. Today we find out why did Pakistan Space Agency failed despite the fact that it was 10 years ahead of India when it started. Pakistani Space Agency 10 years ahead of ISRO Friends in the year 1961 Pakistan had renowned physicist and the Nobel Prize winner D.R. Abdus Salam. At that time the president of Pakistan Ayub Khan and Dr. Abdus Salam structured the foundation of Pakistani Space Agency, Suparco Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission headquartered in Karachi. Suparco started eight years before ISRO was started. NASA asked Pakistan to help in the project to map wine conditions in the Indian Ocean project because at that time Pakistan Space Agency Suparco was a reputed space agency in Asia. In 1961, Dr. Abdus Salam and Dr. Tarek Mustafa held the meeting with NASA officials in Washington. At that time SUPARCO was taking strides in the space research when India hadn't even started. But Suparco it started falling behind as the government shifted attention from space project to the atomic bomb project. It shifted key resources and scientists out of the space agency Suparco. It was very late when Pakistan launched its first satellite, Babur-1 only in 1990 with Chinese assistance. On the contrary, putting aside NASA and the European Space Agency, ISRO 2 started off with resources similar to Su Parco in 1969. At that time ISRO had even lesser expertise than Pakistan. Su Parco was ahead of all other Asian nations in the space race, but what happened to Pakistan Space Agency? The real fall came in the 1980s and 1990s. When first, President Zia all had cuts off funding to major projects and military generals are placed atop the organization, replacing scientists and the focus of the agency becomes countering India armed forces, rather than doing an independent research. Currently Suparco Chairman K. A. I. Zain's Karam is a former top general the agency has suffered a series of embarrassing failures in recent decades. Pakistan's first satellite was leased from the U.S. and its latest satellite, the PAKSAT-1R, launched in 2011. Pakistan's latest satellite was funded, designed, built, and launched by China. Only a few components of satellite were built in Pakistan. It is Pakistan's only fully functional satellite and it's a communication satellite. Despite its super head start, the Suparco today is decades behind the Indian Space Research Organization IFRO in both mission success and technological prowess. IFRO broke a world record by sending 100 for satellites to space, in contrast. Suparco is not expected to have indigenous satellite launching and producing technology for at least two decades and the target it has set itself is 2040. India, on the other hand, has been able to launch national as well as international satellites. It has even managed to launch its own gunman the lunar probe, the Chandrayaan-1, Mars mission, Mangalyaan, now ISRO is planning to launch its solar mission. The key learning from this video is that despite an early start one must also focus on consistent and persistent efforts. So friends this brings me to the end of the today's video. Hope you have liked the video. And it would help you become more informative. Please don't forget to subscribe the KDK YouTube channel for more amazing and fact filled videos. Every time I try to leave something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you.